Rabbi David Hill is a former head of the National Council of Young Israel. He founded Operation Lifeline, which sent Americans to the Soviet Union to teach Torah and distribute religious articles after a series of audiences with the Rebbe in 1961. I went in to see the Rebbe with Irving Bunim, and at the end of the conversation, which took in many other topics, I said to him, wie fangt man an zu helfen Eden in Russland? The minute the Rebbe heard that, he says, we'll meet another time, and then we'll talk about Jews in Russia. Now, one of the members of the Latvian parliament was Rabbi Khodakov, who was friendly to my parents. I took advantage of that, and I called him up. I said, I would like to discuss Jews in Russia with the Rebbe. Got me an appointment. And this was already Biachilis. And he said to me, I have never given any information to any outside of Lubavitch in finding a way to help Jews in Russia. But if I give you names and addresses, and I said to him, my purpose was to send in Rabban and to send in Shocht and to send in those that can somehow ignite that pintalid, that spark that every Jew has. So he said to me, I'll open little doors for you. I'll give you names, addresses, etc. But I have a condition. The condition is belief yourself. If you're going to do this, the shlemus and that you really want to help Jews in Russia and bring them back, then I will. I gave him my word. And we were talking about Dine Nefoshis, you know. You give a name and somebody mentions it and it's overheard by someone and you end up in Siberia. He gave me, uh, I would say, between 40 and 50 names spread out in different parts of the former Soviet Union. The only teachers that were there at that time until we started to train others were Lubavitch and Hasidim. There was no other uh, underground uh, training apparatus or a so-called yeshiva movement, etc., without Lubavitch. And it worked. He assigned to me people like Levitov and others who were my contacts. And I started to send in Kabun. But the fact is that success of Operation Lifeline could never have been done without the guidance and the help of the Rebbe. In the big Leningrad synagogue, there was a stable that was mainly Lubavitch. Uh, we did not have a Rav in Leningrad. What we had was Zkenim. And they were the people that were in contact with the Rebbe. And we had Lubavitcher uh, like Yitzchak Kogan, one of the people that the Rebbe gave me to see. And uh, I remember we dove Menchen's house, he had a Sefer Torah. This was September. The nights were long in Leningrad. And he had chickens running around in his house. And there were two young men there. And uh, they said, Yitzchak, Yitzchak, uh, make Avdallah, shech the chicken, because we have to go to Moscow. And that intrigued me. What are two young men doing with a chicken on a midnight train to Moscow? When I asked them, what are you doing? They said, there's a memorial in Moscow and uh, he and I are going to have our births. And since we know that we need meat or chicken for a suda, we're asking him. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, this was the type of Messias Nefesh that you found that, that you never forgot. <laughs> 